Um, one of the things that can happen in the diabetes sector is a, something akin to reinventing the wheel. Now, most of us inject. Um, some of us now are going on to pumps and some people control their diabetes by other means. But if you do inject, then one of the little bits that goes with the whole kit is the needle. Um, BD, which was, you know, you, you might have been familiar with BD from disposable syringes, which is what they did for years and what a lot of us moved on to before pens came along, um, have brought out the shortest needle on the market, which is only four millimetres deep. Um, one of the things they're trying to address is that apparently when it comes to injection technique, people don't necessarily do the right thing. First off, we've all got a certain amount of fat on our bodies, uh, some more than others, but primarily you're not meant to inject intramuscularly. You're meant to be, it's meant to be subcutaneous. Um, in the very old days when you had much longer needles, you were sort of taught to go in sort of sideways, so you made sure that your needle was under the skin and not going into the muscle. Now, with the really new teeny tiny needle, it's almost impossible to go intramuscular. So it's, it's helping people with diabetes to achieve the right technique by not allowing them to do the wrong thing, as it were. Um, these are widely available. That, you know, people who are very young or are looking after children with diabetes particularly find them attractive because obviously with the little people, little needles makes a lot of sense. Um, there's not an awful lot of modification of products for children, mainly because there's not, in, in terms of a demographic, there's not an awful lot of children with diabetes. But if you do have diabetes as a child, then all the little things that can be helped to be scaled to your size make a really big difference. So the four millimetre needle is not primarily for children, it can be for anyone. Uh, but it might be something that really helps you to, you know, not resent the pain or the inconvenience of injecting. Um, and certainly if you use a new needle per injection, the chances of you feeling it are very slim indeed.